What's up YouTube? So today I'm going to be showing you guys my sweat proof slash oil proof uh, foundation routine. Um, so this is actually um, the routine that works best for me. Um, I do have super oily skin um, and I actually don't sweat that bad during the summertime. Uh, but when I do, this foundation routine actually works the best for me. Before you watch this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you wanna see how I battle my oil and fight the sun, uh, keep on watching. So I'm starting with my ABH Dip Brow Pomade in the color Dark Brown. The pomade actually works well all the time. I used to use this, use this um, eyebrow pomade all the time. I just stopped using it because I ran out. Um, and it takes longer in the morning to do for work, but when I go out and stuff like that, I always use this pomade. If anything, my eyebrows are always the one thing that stays put on my whole face. Whenever I use this. Get my hair out the way. Alright, so now I'm gonna go in and clean out my eyebrows with my tape shape and tan sand. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and prime my face. I'm actually going to be using uh, my Angel Faux Primer, of course. This does wonders for my skin. I actually kind of put a lot, but I'm actually going to be putting it more at the base of my face, like on the outer perimeter of my face. Oops. So I kind of focused it more on like the outward portions of my face. And then I'm going to be taking my Makeup Forever Step 1 Mattifying Primer. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my T-zone where I get the most oily. So normally for work or whenever, just a normal day to day, I just prime in my T-zone because that's really where I get oily with my angel veal. Um, but I kind of want to prime everywhere on my face because I do, I do tend to get oily kind of all over my skin. It just more focuses in the middle. So that's why I'm going to use that mattifying primer. Um, so first I'm going to go ahead and color correct with my uh, Maybelline Master Camo. Okay, I kind of went a little bit overboard with the correcting, but oh well. Um, so now I'm going to go into another little um, trick I like to use during summertime since my face just stays oily. Um, I'm actually going to be taking the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder. Let's see. And it's like a white, thin powder. And I'm just literally going to do the method, method of putting powder before foundation. And I'm going to focus it in my T-zone area. Uh, focus it mainly where I kind of get the most oil. And I'm going to kind of press it in my skin. I'm going to blend it a little bit better. But this powder is super thin. You're not able to actually see it under your foundation. But this is kind of one of the tricks that I use to help control some of that oil. That's I'm thinking about a sweat proof slash summer routine. Um, you should probably reach for the foundation that is either almost drying to your skin or the one that has lasted the longest for you. Um, for me, it is the Double Wear, Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Um, I always have the best look with this foundation. It always does me good. Um, I am just a naturally oily person, so I will tend to get oily with it anyways, just not as much as I do with other foundations. 
And the good thing about this foundation is it's full coverage without feeling like super or overly heavy. Um, with it being summertime and being hot outside, you don't want to feel like you're just caking it on because then you're like, I'm already sweaty, greasy, and have all this stuff in my face. Um, another one I would recommend would probably be the Fenty foundation um, or the, NAR the new NARS um, like matte foundation or the um, Maybelline, I think it's Maybelline Fit Me. Those are all pretty much like matte um, and lightweight foundations that are probably the best bets for you during summertime. So I'm gonna, gonna So when I'm going for like an overly dramatic look, I usually use my pink beauty blender um, because it gives me more of a full coverage and more of a dramatic look. I've been recently using this uh, Real Techniques sponge because it gives a decent amount of coverage, but I feel like it makes it a little bit more natural. But I tend to use this when I go to work or when I have like a long day because I don't want to be way too heavy on foundation and I use my beauty blender when I just want to be all dramatic don't really care how much foundation is on my face all right so now I'm going to be using my beloved tape shape and tan sand um this concealer does the best job at doing at being full coverage and lasting all day so some of my other recommendations as well for um that I would always I could always still use for this or that I would recommend would be the ColourPop um the ColourPop concealers or what I consider the dupe for this which is the Wet n Wild concealers I think all those would work if you were trying to incorporate a more affordable sweat proof look And then to slightly just lighten it up a little bit, I'm going to take a little bit of the color medium um, and just put a couple of dabs in here to lighten it up. So now I'm going to take um, the Fenty Beauty Concealer Stick um, and I'm using the color Truffle. Using this um, as my contour today. I'm trying to use as many matte um, slash oil free products in this look because uh, that will keep me help keep me the most matte um and helping me look the most less oily with this whole look so i'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit or a lot of bit of this on try to blend this out I'm gonna go ahead and bake with my Laura Mercier setting powder. And I am gonna probably overdo it a little bit. So I'm gonna have I'm gonna keep my eye look pretty simple. Um, I'm just gonna throw on some lashes and probably throw in a pop of color. Um, so for my color, I'm actually gonna be using the NYX um, slide on, glide on, stay on, and definitely a turn on <laughs> waterproof extreme shine eyeliner. So because it's waterproof, it actually is the best. Um, I've worn this before and it works great. And I swatched it on my arm one day and it literally was not washing off. So I'm just going to use this um, under my eye to kind of give a pop of color. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put on my lashes, which I'm using the Coco Lashes Queen B. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little bit of mascara on the bottom of my lashes. Um, and then to add a little bit of shine, a little bit of drama, I'm actually gonna take my NYX liquid crystal liner and then just put it in the middle corner of my eyes I'm 
and a little bit of splash of glitter for summertime. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and grab my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation, which I use as a contour. And I'm just going to go ahead and contour my face. Um, I did say that I was trying to focus on mattes, anything shimmery um, or dewy. It'll kind of, um, it will increase the amount of shine and oiliness that I have going on through the, my face. Now that I contoured just a lot of bit, um, I'm actually going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. Um, and I'm just kind of dust off the excess baking powder as well as kind of just press it in my skin. And one of the things that I will not be able to control when it comes to shine or adding extra glitter is my highlight. I do have to have my highlight on for the summertime, of course. I'm actually going to be using my um, Fenty. I'm going to use my Fenty glitter and I'm going to mix a little bit of my um, ABH Glow Kit in the color Summer. To kind of uh, lighten it up because I don't want it to be too yellow. So I'm going to do that. See they're kind of mixed and make a pretty color. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to grab a little bit of blush. The, my Makeup Revolution Matte Blush. And I'm just going to kind of press it in there. And then to finish off the look, to kind of bring everything together um, and reduce the amount of oiliness, I'm going to take my Urban Decay D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray um, Oil Control. And it is an oil-free setting spray. And then I kind of want a little bit of more of a glow. So... I'm going to put a little bit of Fix Plus, a little bit more of the Summer on top to kind of make it more dramatic. Ooh, girl. Do that on the other side. I'm going to go ahead and go onto my lips, uh, which today I will be featuring the new Fenty Beauty iridescent lip luminizers. I'm gonna do a couple of little try-ons for you um, and we'll see how these go. So I'm gonna start with the one that seems a little bit darker, um, which is the, what section? This is the Summer Nights. And I'm gonna start with the color Vey Cray. Ooh, cool. These smell like really, really, really good. This is more of a like a goldy neutral look. So this is really cute. So this is Vecre. Okay, next I'm gonna go with the color Snake Skin, which is like this more, it looks like a darky green, but we'll see. Oh. This is pretty. Ooh, I like this. Snake skin. Next, I'm gonna use the color Mermaid Lights, which looks literally like literally like a mermaid tail. It's like blue, purple, pretty metallic. Oh yes, honey, this is like a pretty blue metallic. Now I'm going to go into the Summer Days collection, which is the pretty, these are more like a solid color. Next I'm going to go into the color Single, which is like a turquoise blue color. Uh, this almost, almost looks like snake skin on me. But I feel like these are more of like a, are more see-through, which were the other ones were less see-through. 
that makes sense. And last but not least, so my camera decided to cut out and it didn't get the color bilingual. Um, bilingual was the orange color in the Summer Days collection and on me it looked more just like a gloss uh, with like orangey glitter. More of like a natural neutral look. Um, more like an everyday gloss that I could probably do. I'm going to be using Ready to Mingle which is a pretty vibrant purple. Mm, I like this one. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching.